My deepest, darkest secrets. Oh, wait, let me start from the beginning. Hi, my name is May, Ooh, and girl. boy, do I have a crazy story for you. Like and subscribe for me to spill the gossip. My Growing up with my drill sergeant parents were no joke. I was woken up with a shrill whistle at 6 a.m. every day, and my parents ran laps like around the block with me monkey. before I got ready for school. My entire schedule was planned well, out how with to military my precision, dick. and even simple house chores became a boot camp challenge. Am I you made your bed in 41.28 seconds last time. Let's see if you can beat your own record. They loaded me up with activities like chess, Sucky horseback riding, and classical piano lessons, so there was no time for playdates. Sure, I was lucky to have those opportunities, but it could get exhausting and even lonely sometimes. But my life took a wild turn in middle school. Just as I'd stepped through the gates after winter break, I got hit by a giant snowball. Because of your snow cap, just as she helped me up, someone threw another Does not fucking at matter. Does not fucking car. matter. He's the one I'm after. I've known him Does not fucking kids. matter. He's such a butt crack. You wanna help me get him? <laughs> you bet I do. I hurled snowballs and commands like a sergeant till Adrian was. So I want it to be loved. Join my class, and we became friends instantly, which was kind of weird because. And all I care about is you ooh, ooh. By their first names, the three of them would have water fights all <laughs> and decided to form a rock band with me as the pianist. She also added Adrian to the gang as the lead singer Does not and fucking matter. Caleb, our school's parade drummer. We called ourselves the High School Dropouts because it sounded cool. I'd always played classical music, but being part of Charlotte's rock band was so much more fun. Maybe I just really enjoyed it because it meant I didn't have to play alone. I became friends with the boys too, especially Caleb, who often asked me to help him out with math. And of course, I didn't tell my parents. They would never support me wasting my time on something non-serious like rock music. A few weeks later, we found out that our school was hosting that year's Battle of the Bands. If the high school dropouts could win the competition, we had a chance of getting famous. So we started practicing day and night. Everything was going fine, till one night, my parents- Sucking black titties. And that's when I had to lie to them for the first time. Uh, I was at Charlotte's place for Pornhub community. Her parents are not sucky black hawk for 24 hours. They used to live in Uganda and they damn their dick so long. This competition coming up soon. Oh, my baby is really taking just seriously. I'm so proud of you. Now that I had my parents' blessing to visit Charlotte whenever, I can finally have lesbian sex. But it was around this time that I started seeing her a bit differently. Before, we were best buddies who could even fart in front of each other. But lately, I'm really nervous around her. Like one time, it was only the two of us, and I just couldn't seem to play the notes right. Charlotte leaned over my shoulder and placed her fingers on mine as she guided me, and it sent butterflies in my stomach. See? That wasn't so hard. <laughs> startled me so much that I elbowed her hard in the stomach instead. Oh my god, I am so sorry. My arm just spasmed. And that's when it hit me. I had a crush on my best friend. And sometimes I felt I caught a serious vibe from her too. A week before our big performance, Adrian invited us all over to him her too. A week before our big performance, Adrian invited us all over to his place for a blowjob and come and sex for big work. Late into the night, I was sharing a room with Charlotte, and I decided I was ready to tell her how I felt. And let's just say I fucking cummed it and her dick. Gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, here goes. I have the biggest crush. Oh my god, oh my god, on Adrian. Ah, you get no bitches. I mean, we're talking about Adrian. He's a butt crack, right? Haven't you kind of hated each other since you were kids? No, bro. I was her. I was the big daddy. I taught them how to be very sexy. Uh well, 
I didn't know he was gonna grow up to be so cute. No, bro, me and me and Adrian did the very sexy dirty. And what's hate, really? Just a form of love. I sometimes can't breathe properly around. Oh, shut your bitch ass up, you flawless nit. Around him, especially when he wears that blue shirt. Have you noticed how it brings out his blue eyes? Yeah, I fucking regret having sex with him. Eyes? I really hadn't noticed. I need your help, May. Do you think you could talk to him? I need my makeup. I need to talk to her. Just give him some hint that I like him, so he'll ask me out. Please just remember to give me a hug. Chuck me crazy. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't Charlotte dragged me off to a corner. I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna tell Adrian after the performance that I like him. I... I really don't think that's a good idea. Why? He likes someone else. I overheard him saying something to his dad's. What? Who is it? Um... Oh yeah, I just forgot. I also sold nipples and kidneys on Amazon Prime. I think he likes... He likes my dick. <laughs> but I swear, I'm not interested in him at all. What? You must have heard him wrong. It can't be. Well, it's the truth. What can I say? He likes my dick, and I like his dick too. Oh, no, no, no! And now presenting... The PORNO COMMUNITY! Ah! Look, Charlotte, maybe you're right and I'm wrong, but we can sort this all out after- God, why are you gonna sound like that? I mean, God, why are you gonna sound like that? God, I think I read it. My deck needs sponsorship for part of- After the performance, please, we've worked too hard to mess up this chain- Why don't you work hard for my tits instead? You're right, of course. I am still buzzing. I feel invincible. Like I could. Good May, why didn't you tell us? Because I didn't think you'd approve. We never wanted to make you feel like we were so strict that you had to keep things from us. And we're sorry we made you feel that way. We love you and we are so proud of you. No way, you proud of this ugly ass nit! And we support all your choices. And then your ugly ass ugly black I could reply. We heard the announcer on the mic. And in first place. The Pano Community! Woo! I need my dick was sponsored by Pano They love talking. They look surprisingly cool with each other. And I turned to Charlotte. Hey, Char. About the whole confession thing, I really don't want to lose my bestie. I guess I'll just need to take a break from the team to get over this crush I have on you. Well, sir, so actually have a IQ that's crazy! But it's so fucking ugly as this Waiting for you in the band. I took some time. Eventually, I was able to get over my crush on Charlotte, and now we're back to hanging out all the time as BFFs. And Charlotte is my wing woman now. That girl is totally checking you out, Em. Okay, I'm gonna go over to talk to her. Wish me luck.